three ninety six on the road to four hundo. On the road to four hundo. Yes, sir, bro. Um, we were just we were just uh just talking about let's let's get right into it because you got the Olympics going on. The Olympics are uh, going on right now. Hey, this we we in a battle. U- USA, man, we doing our thing this year. We doing our thing this year. We talented in a lot of different sports. That's a huge jump. And That's honestly, and what, we, what we talking about is the earnings. Like for real, these earnings are ridiculous. If you look at it, like as far as the U.S. Uh, U.S. athletes, the, the best in the world. Like I, w- I, I can honestly say, for the last hundred years, we have shown we've been the best in the world in a lot of different categories. We have the most gold medals in any other country. No one else has more than fifteen hundred. We got three thousand. So for this, for this, to, so we we were going over the the list as far as like what your earnings are if you win a gold medal. So the only thing, well, before I even get to that, so in Brazil you can get forty nine thousand. Why not just go fifty? Never mind. Forty nine thousand for a gold in Japan. You get forty five. In the U.S. you get thirty seven five hundred. Thirty seven and a half. What thousand? That's well, only a little medal. bit. That's only a little bit more than South Africa. South Africa, you get thirty-seven thousand. But you know people. Yeah, you don't get bro, nothing. You know people. Canada. You know people Six train. Years. You know people train for four to eight years for this event. Yep. For these events, for you know, for this to be your payout. And Canada, go, go to the top get, one. What's the what's the? Oh most, my gosh! No, most? Singapore seven hundred and thirty-seven k. Now that sounds about right, though. That sounds about going right. Crazy. Seven. Everyone in the Middle East is getting paid. Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan is 250k, Malaysia 236k, it's Italy no 213. It's no reason. We should, 20, it's no reason we shouldn't be uh, above, above uh, Philippines. No, nowhere Hungary. near. I think the, my K, only bro. my only logic that I can think of is because U.S. athletes and not all, which is why some of this should be changed. But U.S. athletes make a lot of money already. Most U.S. athletes, uh-huh. but not all. But that's why I'm like endorsements or not all have endorsements. Not all have sponsors. Not everybody yeah. is making that kind of money. But for the most part, I've made me they feel like most U.S. athletes are already making millions of dollars. But that's like no, you still work very hard. Yeah. For some sports, this is the only really thing you have to compete in. Like there, I don't know what else swimming swimmers do throughout the year besides train for the Olympics. Mm-hmm. It's not like there's a swim season and they compete and we watch it. So it's like, unless you were Michael Phelps winning a bunch of gold medals and having endorsement deals, everybody on the swim team is probably not making. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. Maybe there is more to. Maybe you do get endorsement deals as a as a swim athlete, but you don't. Everyone does not making millions of dollars. So there is there still there still be more because you you train too hard for this. You train too hard and you represent yeah, the facts. entire country. Facts. We got goo gobs of money. There should be I don't know who runs and, this, but 37,000 is not enough. And also you got a preference in that you we don't even know how long they're training to get to this point. Yep. Like a gold medal is very very important. It doesn't matter in what country you're in. And you're aging rapidly cuz every 4 years. It's every 4 yeah, years facts. you are raising rapidly. Facts. You're lucky to do this more than 4 times. And look, career, I'm ready to whatever, re- whatever, I'm ready to rewrite my list, bro. I honestly, 21st century, the greatest athlete might be Simone Biles. You think so? I, it might be Simone Biles because you, if you're talking about, don't nobody got more than 23 minutes. If you're talking about dominance in a sport, bro, she has created a whole lane for herself. She has, I hear you. She has them named after, her. like she has these performances named after her. The like. I, I hear you. A different, different. different. I the only you. people, that I, the only person I feel like that is up there with her is Michael Phelps. Michael Phelps. That's, that's the only person and, I can see. And that's like, and we just talk about have dominance, number one. dominance in sport. Yeah, you know he was completely like, dominant in swimming. Crazy, he's the only bro. one with twenty three medals. Yes, twenty three gold right. medals. Like right. until someone gets twenty four gold medals, it's Michael and Phelps. And I know Simone Biles. I'm like got thirty seven overall, but I don't know. She got a lot of gold too. I know that for sure. Yeah, until somebody got like twenty three goals in one sport, I'm I'm gonna still give it to Mike. Yeah, but um, we, it just it just honestly it's amazing to see like her perform because she's only like you said she's only twenty seven. Yeah. So it makes a difference as well too as far as like you said you were aging, as far as, as soon as the next four years she'll be in her thirties. It's Olympics, like you know that's how people look at it. But honestly, when you when you look at a lot of the stars that we have that won gold medals um in certain sports. They, their longevity wasn't, you know, like that. You know what I'm saying? They didn't stay shout out to, in the sport um, that long, though. Shout out to Coco Golf. She lost yeah, today. Shout out to Coco Golf. She lost today. Um, she lost in a disappointing fashion. I mean, she was getting. I mean, the the girl that beat her beat her in straight sets, so she was beating her back to back to back. Mm-hmm. But in the final set, um, in the final set, the line it was a ball that was that was hit. 
the line judge, this is what this is what everyone on the internet is saying. The line mm-hmm. judge called it out, mm-hmm. but it was actually in when he called it out. So when Coco then Coco swung it, it hit the net, but the umpire gave her the mat, gave the other girl the match point. But even though the, cause the ball was in, but Coco was arguing that, but the line judge just said it was out before I hit it. Mm-hmm. And I guess the, the umpire said it doesn't matter. And so Coco was very upset, very emotional, trying to speak up. Um, and so to lose, was she already losing? Yes. But you, I mean, it's tennis. Anything can go either way. Mm-hmm. So to lose in that fashion in third round, to lose in that fashion was heartbreaking to see. So she's out the tournament. But to lose in that fashion is, is heartbreaking to see. Yeah. It's kind of like in football. Like, I don't, if I got the ball like this and you blow the whistle and I throw it, he picks it off. It's not a pick. You call, you blew the whistle. Mm-hmm. You blew the whistle before I threw the ball. So nothing else that happens after that. It don't matter how far you ran down with the ball. You got to run that all the way back. He blew the whistle. The play's over. So it does affect your swing. Facts. And I know this is a moment where she, you know, where she is not happy also because she's, you know, she's about to lose in this moment. But she, no, hey, it's over. But, but guess what? But guess what? She has she, double secrets still. But, but I'm just saying, over. but guess what? She's a legend already. Yeah. She's a legend already. Like, starting way before she was 16, she's really... A role model to these young girls out here as well too, and I hate I think the she's I hate nineteen, but, but I hate the comments 20? about oh yeah, where she's complaining. No, she's passionate about her sport. No, she she cares about any the sport. every every athlete advocates with the ref, and not just the women. Yeah, Serena not just did women it. Complaining, LeBron nah, does it. Can't do that. Michael Jordan did it. Every every right. athlete advocates right. with the ref. If it ain't right, it ain't right. I know we do it. I play in the middle of kickball and I do it. Like hey man, we compete and we want to win. And we don't want to lose in a certain way. She has every right to advocate for mm-hmm. herself and be emotional, be upset. She trained hard, and she was getting beat. But to lose in that fashion, it's like, yeah, you're gonna argue every chance. You're gonna fight for yourself. So I mean, it's it's the same as she that she's done. But she has doubles. I don't know who her partner is, but mm-hmm. she can still win gold and doubles. But you know, you know, hopefully in the next next Olympic show or whatever is next for. I know it's because tennis has more things other than the Olympics. Mm-hmm. This is the biggest stage. But you know, hopefully she'll win the gold and doubles. And hopefully, whatever else she has coming up, she can definitely get it going. The U.S. Open, I don't know when that is, but hopefully she can win the U.S. Open or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I'm eager to see. What is she, what, 20? Yeah, probably like 19, 20. If, if not, yeah. she just turned 20. Come on yeah. now. She'll be. Come yeah. on now. It's amazing, a tough loss. Amazing she'll, athlete. She'll get there. Amazing athlete. Amazing yeah, they tried to play with Serena. When Serena, was, when Serena lost like that, and then she was advocating for herself, mm-hmm. everyone tried to say, oh, Serena's crying. Like, no, man, what you mean? Like, we watch our athletes do that all the time. Facts. Like, it ain't right. Like if you, if you feel like you, if you feel like the call ain't right, you got every right to voice your opinion, especially with what you've accomplished. Like she's not like she's not a scrub. Mm-hmm. You no, know, she's not like a rookie. She's one of them ones. Yeah. She's so, but shout out to her. It's a shame to um to see that she's not gonna um have to be. Well, able she to can keep still going. got opportunity to get gold. That's the, yeah. that's the blessing. That's a, that that shows to her greatness too that she's in singles and doubles. Yeah, and shout out to um uh, the, the um the young lady that beat her because I I don't want to act like she just got cheated. She didn't because the lady mm-hmm. was beating her. She beat her in three in, in straight sets, so she was beating her. She was outplaying mm-hmm. her one hundred percent. But you know, in that moment, you don't. It, it's not over till it's over. So anything could have happened. You know. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, let's see. Oh, you wanted to talk about um, you want to talk about that top one or. Yeah, yeah, we can we can we can get this out. Yeah, honestly, really get to this one and talk about this um, because we can get the report on it. How it, ha- it really happened, like right after we recorded uh, on mo- last Monday. Yeah. But um, rest in peace and condolences to Sonya Massey, wrongfully murdered. I'm I'm gonna call and come out and say it. Wrongfully murdered in her own home, yeah. um, as she called as she called the police uh, a police about you know a potential break in. She was just feeling feeling something not uh, going right around the house. She gave a call to them. You know, they came came in the house, and and you seen it on his, uh, on his camera. I didn't watch all the I events it. unfold, and it and it, it's traumatizing. It happened in Springfield, Illinois, but no matter where it's happened, wrong is wrong is right, and right is right. Hey, he deserves whatever he's gonna get. For he has real. to, man, because, because you, you taint other. Oh, Bobby, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, nah, and then I, I'm just saying, in the, in the fact that it's like your motive, your your motive was already off. Your, you know, what I'm saying how you how you approach approach the situation. Your job is to protect and serve. Yep. And you're not protecting or serving anybody just recklessly acting just because you got a gun. Mm-hmm. That's that's the problem right now. It's the it's the abuse of certain authority where these people get behind a get behind a gun and badge and not understand what their job is. Not understanding the guidelines of what you really do. That was it was other ways to go about that situation. Yeah. And it's crazy to me because I I felt like she felt the energy. She felt the energy, and before she was uh, murdered, 
she said, I rebuke you in the name. Like, talk, talking to the Lord in her final moments. Um, because she knew this spirit wasn't a good spirit in the, in the crib, bro. Like, he, they told her to stop the boiling water. Yeah. And she she walks go- over and stops and tries to stop the boiling water. She picks it up and you and you just react right there. You you already it's like you already knew what was gonna happen, knew what you was gonna do. It was no de escalating for you. So and there was no justification for it. It's just it's just it, it hurts to see one because I mean another life is taken another life is taken wrongfully. But it's like you taint you taint the name of other officers who really who took this job for all the right reasons. They mm-hmm. took the job because they wanted to help their community. They wanted to protect their community. That's why they took the job. This woman called you because there was someone in her home she thought. She did the right thing. You were supposed to show up and protect her. Mm-hmm. You were supposed to show up and give her comfort. You were supposed to show up and make her feel safe. That now, now that you're there, that she doesn't have to worry about whatever it is she heard. Right. That was your job. So for you to come in there mm-hmm. under those pretenses and do that to her, you deserve to be in jail for the rest of your life. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Like you don't deserve you don't deserve to, 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 to walk out and have freedom. Cause there are people who do it on the street. And they're seeing life. He needs to see life. Mm-hmm. Because, like, you, like, that badge is supposed to stand for something. You took an oath to protect and serve. That woman called you because she wanted to feel safe. And she wanted you to come over and protect mm-hmm. her. And that was, that was your job. You went over there. And you killed her. And it's just, like, stuff like that. That's just disgusting. And what's nasty, like, and what's nasty, nasty is, work. what's nasty, too, is that news outlets, they, you know, as soon as certain things happen, don't tr- try to come out with, with the truth. Especially based on ethnicity or race. This is a human being. A human being. At the end of the day, her family found out and they talked about it. They found out that it was uh, not caused by the police. Uh, The father was just like, wow, when he heard the police were involved, he was in shock because he heard something different. Mm -hmm. You know, so you have certain media outlets. Like, at at the end of the day, get the story straight before you have anything to say because a lot of people are affected by it. Uh, Their family is like, I I can't imagine how they feel in, in this situation. You feel me? So like, man, I just want to say prayers and condolences to her family, and Not man, sure. and like, and like what you said, that's very important. And have an understanding of like just being in certain situations and yeah. how that one that people, that one moment can change your life. But also having an understanding that just because you have a badge and just because you you have a gun, what is what is that ultimately supposed to mean? If you don't his, under, if you don't understand if you don't shot, understand the heard. expectations. And guidelines of 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 your role. From what I heard, his partner was in shock. He couldn't believe it. he did that. You man. know, and I hope his partner does the right thing. You know, hey man, you need to go testify in court. What happened? Don't do not defend that brother at all. Yeah, I get it that the police force is. I, I heard police force is like a, it's like a fraternity. You know, and you might you might find yourself in a situation where it's like the people at your job look at you crazy. Man, don't worry about that. You gotta do the right thing. Mm-hmm. You saw that brother do something egregious, right? You Facts. know, and you don't want you don't Facts. want yourself Holding involved each other in it. accountable. You don't want yourself involved in that because the second you if you don't if you don't hold him accountable and you advocate for that or you don't speak up for what happened, people are gonna be looking at you like, oh, so you so you condone this too, mm-hmm. so you might do the same thing. Mm-hmm. You know, someone mm-hmm. um, Jordan Lucas just put a song out um, called Three Little Pigs." He was like a, he did like a bedtime story with his mm-hmm. son. Basically, it was the story of like you know how police you know you know kill unarmed black people mm-hmm. but it was very creative it was like he did the pigs mm-hmm. the the wolves were the black folks the pigs were the cops they had water guns because he's reading it to his son mm-hmm. it was very creative you know Jordan Lucas when he does stuff yeah. like that he gets very it's very introspective um, but yeah it was basically that it was it was crazy it was very um, I, I watched the last night it was very um, on point and very creative and you know definitely something you could it is something you can play for kids mm-hmm um, but as, at the same time, if you're old enough, you can understand what he's getting. He had a music video and all that. It was pretty cool. But yeah, we just it's just, it's just tragic because you you know in this situation, somebody lost this uh, their sister, a daughter, a mother. You yeah, know, like, like it's it's a grandmother because I don't, I don't know how cool. old this she is, was. This is this is wow. This is wow. And and it's it's getting out of hand. It's getting out of hand for sure. It is. It's getting out of hand for sure. Um, I wanted to briefly uh speak about this as well too. Um. This 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 uh young lady she's just going viral but she was just talk having a conversation about um like who who she would date it was one of those relationships type type of talks but she did she talked about briefly about like 
how she wants to look for uh, look for a partner who has a two parent household, yeah. and how that how that impacts and affects um, you know th- their relationship moving forward with each other. And She's I saying, like I'm not dating nobody. I'm a single parent household. And I was oh, like, I mean, like. like Mind you, she came from that's her, and I would say that that's I would say that's her opinion. But I do understand, honestly, yeah, I, I fully gotta, understood what she was saying. Also, I, I truly understand from being in a two parent household how much of a blessing it is. You feel me? Me and me and my bro, like that's a blessing. That's something that you don't take for granted. And I feel like that does have a lot to do with things that you you know you deal with in life and how you maneuver with those certain things based on your you know based on your foundation. Like I feel like that's very much so important, and 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 having a close knit with your uh, with your parents and them being in the same household together, it's it's important as well. So I do feel like it is important. Yeah. Um. To what she was saying, like specifically, I don't see, I don't feel like that's necessary because you yeah. got some people that 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 makes them who they are. Yeah. You feel me? Being in a single parent household, the same I, way is making her feel the way she's feeling. Exactly, exactly. You know, she sees some deficiencies in herself and she has seen some deficiencies in the men that had a single parent household. Mm-hmm. You know, um, and she saw the difference in dating a guy that had, you know, both parents. Mm-hmm. So, I, to say that you won't date anyone like that, I, I don't know, that's a little crazy, but I understand. Right, right. You know, because you don't want somebody that has the same deficiencies as you and you already, you feel like you already an, already a lot. Mm-hmm. You know, so you want to be with somebody that's got, that's had the benefits of both. But like you said, it makes you who you are. Because mm-hmm. um, the just because you're not in a two-parent household does not mean you can't get the benefits of both parents. It may not come right. in the same way. Because you could, if you're brain raised by your mom, you could have an uncle that's very close. And mm-hmm. it's always around and giving your, your son guidance mm-hmm. and things like that. Uh, you could have a grandfather but that's then, doing those things. So, and then like, also, just in that sense, as far as like single parent household, that doesn't mean like, you know, what I'm saying that's why I said that is in certain certain circumstances because that don't mean like the parents are just both in the same household, but they share, they share, maybe yeah. they, they share. And it doesn't make that person kid. bad. Like the same like, way you can recognize the deficiencies, they can recognize. Because the other girl was saying that too. She said, "I recognize I have certain deficiencies, but I had to go work on those things mm-hmm. and go to therapy and deal with those things." Right. The other person can do that as well. So I wouldn't. I would. I get what she's saying, and mm-hmm. I get that there. I get the highlighting the importance of wanting to be with someone in two parent household. But it's like if you meet somebody that's great, mm-hmm. you know, and they just didn't happen to have, you know, um, both parents. You know, that's not really. That's not really in their control. Mm-hmm. I would not negate that person. I understand the rationale, but I would not negate that person. You need to understand. You need to learn who that person is today, right. and right. who they become today right. as a result of that. Maybe all of their trauma from not having both parents is still in them. Maybe it's not. Mm-hmm. But you know, like you said, it makes you who you are. Yeah, because I wouldn't. I wouldn't say either way. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't say either way. I can't judge a person based off of you know what, what they were brought up in and yeah. things that they really and can't control. You got people who are, who are into parent households, but maybe one parent wasn't very. Um, they didn't have a close relationship with that right. parent. They weren't right. very. They didn't do their part as a parent, mm-hmm. and so you might have had both parents in the home, mm-hmm. but they weren't. You know, one of them wasn't. And doing one thing their I would part. say, as far as any relationship, like I feel like it's it's important to to talk to yourself as far as like meeting yourself with with that trauma before you go into any situation and understanding that other person's trauma because yes, sir. you know what I'm saying if you getting getting these certain uh, circumstances and y'all both bringing trauma into this uh, into a situation and y'all don't know each other's situation then that's going to cause for more more trauma more things down the line yes sir. It, 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 it all impacts it. um your boy Robert Downey Jr he's back Return to MCU as Doctor Doom. All right, Doctor Doom. Back. I don't think like it was surprising, but it really wasn't surprising. I, honestly, I can see Robert Downey Jr. in a in a like a more villain role too. Iron Man, he's played the good guy for for a good while. Even in those films, like he still got depicted as a villain a little bit in, in some of those films. But I feel like that was a good way to end Iron Man. Um, I don't feel like with the character, I feel like it's kind of not anymore what he wants to do with the character. Well, he said he'd come back. As Avengers? I'm, yeah, he said he'd come back and do more Iron Man. So we, we, but, um, we, shall, we yeah, shall see You him. know, but I don't. I hope they don't do it because it's like, it, it depends on how they do it. Right. But, you know, um, I'm listen, I'm fine with it. He ain't the first person to play more than one Marvel character, mm-hmm. even if it is a little soon. 
Um, I thought they were going to go the Tony Stark as Iron as Doctor Doom route because Iron Man has been Doctor Doom before. Mm -hmm. um, so I thought they were going to go that route, but apparently he's just going to play Victor Von Doom. Uh, and again, that's fine. I know Robert Downey is an amazing actor. You know, this mm -hmm. is something the fans the fans are are happy. The fans should be happy because they wanted Robert Downey back. They also wanted Doctor Doom. Um, if Kang wasn't going to work out and it's mm -hmm. not going to work out, so you're getting the best of both worlds. So I'm not I'm not upset. I'm not upset at it. Um you just gotta take it for what it is. I know some people are mad because Doctor Doom is Romanian and you could have got a Romanian actor. It's like listen, man, like we, we, we see stuff like this all the time. We have a lot of British actors mm -hmm. play certain then, roles. That's what acting is. Acting is always being we don't like we don't always have to get the closest, you know, thing to this. Like that's what that's what makes you a good actor. Mm -hmm. Can you be then, somebody of another nationality? We've seen him be someone British. Yeah, We've seen say, him be Sherlock Holmes. We've seen, We've seen him, him be Doctor Black. Doolittle, who was Irish. We saw him be someone black. Hey, hey, yeah, like Robert Downey Jr. is like that. Nah, he like that. And then also, I forgot he was Alfred in Justice League too. No, he wasn't. Yes, that he wasn't was. him. That was him. No, it wasn't. Check it right now. All right. Check it. Right I just now. saw the actor. Check it right him. now. Was okay. he not in Justice League? He was not. Yes, he was. Go, Robert Downey Jr. Justice League. Okay. Let's let's see. I'm I'm sure of it. You're not sure. But the point of it, he he definitely like he could play any role. He could play any role, and I'm actually glad that he's going to play Doctor Doom. Um, a lot a lot of people I don't know. I was one of those people that speculated that Jonathan Majors was going to play Doctor Doom, he or he was going to play. Look, he was never in Justice certain, League. Uh, Marvel character. I know who you're talking about though, but that wasn't him. Okay. Andy, no, now Andy Sargus was uh, Alfred in the Batman, but I know who you're talking. About. I don't know his name, but I just saw him because. You ever seen the beekeeper? Yes, James of Dato? course. I just, I just seen the movie. The guy with the, that was him. The guy with the glasses okay, that was protecting the boy. He know. was Alfred in Justice League. Okay, that yeah, that, that that looks like him too. I know yeah. what you're talking. I know what yeah, you're talking. Yeah, that about. was him. But um, but yeah, Robert Downey. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not mad at it, man. I think I see what the MCU is trying to do. They're trying to make some moves. Let me ask you, speaking of the Kang thing. Listen, do I think Jonathan Major should have deserved another shot? One hundred percent. But. I mean, ultimately, you know, Marvel made their choice. Like, I don't know, you know, it is what it is. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. But I don't like people being, I like, like Godfrey, the comedian Godfrey. I guess, mm -hmm. I didn't watch the whole video, but it said he was calling out Robert Downey Jr. Because, like, Robert has a um, a criminal past. So how come he gets, you know, a second mm -hmm. chance? It's like, listen, did, did Robert Downey make this decision or did Marvel make this decision? You know what I'm saying? You can't be mad at. I, I understand where I you're coming you're from, I you're but saying. you can't be mad at Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. You're like, yeah, he didn't make yeah. this. Decision. This was yeah. Marvel. Marvel can the Kang thing. Mm -hmm. They want they they, they want to go Doctor Doom with the fans. One of they brought the Russo's brothers back, as per what Robert said. Robert Downey said, "I'll come back and y'all get the Russo's brothers, and they're great. They did like two out of three Avengers mm -hmm. movies. So it's what it is. So I can't I cannot be mad at Robert Downey Jr." For this opportunity that Marvel yeah, has presented, yeah. okay. so it's unfortunate, but you know it is what it is. But they got a lot of dope stuff coming. They got um, Armor Wars with Don Chino. The, the whole you know War Machine movie about to come out. New Captain America, mm -hmm. um, Fantastic yeah. Four, new two new That's Avengers movies. Fine. So yeah, I mean I'm excited. I mean I hope because mm -hmm. they need to figure out a way out this, this and Marvel, multiverse Marvel thing. Marvel know how to clutch a movie. Yeah, yeah this multiverse thing ain't working right now. It's not working. So they, they, yeah. they ninety nine percent from the free throw. Well, not right now. With right movies. now they're shooting at sixty percent. What movies? They shooting about sixty percent right now. Because the last so couple, what's the last, what's the last the, no, they they're they're okay, shooting wait, no. right wait, now because the because the Deadpool movie range. range they're shooting they they their average is back yeah, up to seventy five. Hey, look, look, this Spider Man just before that. Don't get it. Too no, but there was movies after that. There okay. was movies well, after well, that. All right. I, I don't, there but, was bad movies after that. All right. Maybe maybe but you know Deadpool movie range definitely brought their average back up to like a seventy five percent. And everything else going forward gonna bring it back up to a nine. Marvel don't miss. So they they about to, they about to start hitting again. Marvel I think. don't miss. Marvel don't My miss. My thing is the reason I don't have faith in it is because all good things come to an end, and it's like you just executed a perfect ten year cinematic run. Like you probably would never see something like that again. For you to try to duplicate that, yeah. I don't like. What's the likelihood? You know, you know what I'm saying? You know what? Like, you know what? DC messed up. DC messed up when they stop making. The fans. When they stop making Dark Knight, I don't care, bro. You gotta, you gotta make that work. All you good things come to an end, bro. bro. All good things come to that an end. That Christian Bale, Dark Knight is. Where was there to go after the third untouchable. movie? Untouchable. Where was there to go after the third? Movie? Untouchable. You said what? Where was there to go after that? The after the third, you can you can involve who you can involve you can involve Penguin you can involve whoever. 
Yeah. It involves so many different people. You could have, but all good things come to an end, man. I get it. I get and it. And no, with Batman, there's always been there's always been multiple Batman. It like, has, always... but ain't nothing touching the Dark Knight. Of I don't course, Wolverine. Ain't of nothing. Course. Cinematic. DC DC is messed up because they don't listen to their fans. They don't listen to their fans, and it's like the decisions that they're making are bonehead decisions. Like, for example, the fans wanted Henry Cavill back as Superman. The Rock worked his butt off to get Henry Cavill back. James Gunn basically fired Henry Cavill. It's like. And how the new Superman. Yes, yeah, see. It's like, what? The dude, Business. freaking, the dude that made the Into the Spider-Verse movies, he literally made a Batman Beyond movie. He said, listen, I have this art, I have this concept, I want to make this movie. And he's trying to present it to Warner Brothers, and they're just like, nah, probably not. I'm like, what? Like, this yeah. is the equivalent of LeBron James coming up to your franchise and saying, I want to play for your team. Like what? You're lucky this guy's not lucky. You're lucky he's not Lord of Marvel. He could have been. He could have just made Spider-Man movies. That's why they good. I give them the TV shows. They got some good they TV, great TV shows. shows. But I'm like, why would you not let this guy make this movie? Fumble. Like this makes no sense. But you want to give us Dino Justice League? Who asked for that? Nobody wants to see Dino Justice League. I don't care about and I, that. And I'm a Flash fan. They ain't gonna cut it. Yo, Ezra Miller is not a good that Flash. They ain't gonna cut it. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna just keep it a thigh wow. You know, it's to the point it. where it's to the point where even if they do make a good movie. Their fans don't trust it because Blue Beetle wasn't bad, but nobody wanted to go see yeah, it because yeah. it's a DC film. It's like you got to find a way to win your fan base back, but you got to do it by doing what the people ask for, and even down to the video game. And like y'all just bro. fumbling. Speaking about doing what the people ask for, they, the people finally got what they wanted, bro. Chipotle now, oh, yeah, now I heard about that one. It's talking about increasing their portions. I of heard food. about. I heard about that All one. All right, come on now, because I'm gonna tell you right now, bro. I used to be. Chipotle, bro. We used to go to Chipotle every other day or every day, bro. When I'm telling you, the Chipotle used to hit different. It did. Back in the 2010s, it was it was nothing that it could was compare. new. Nothing that can compare. Like or that new that to that us. Chipotle back then, yeah, new to us. I'm telling you, it was high new school and college, that Chipotle, bro, it was nothing like it. I don't know what has gone on now. I ain't gonna they lie to you. They, 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 they it's, even hit, the it's even hit or miss too. Like, you know I, what it is? It's because we're not going to the Vista Garden ones anymore. Yeah, that's, I don't know. You know, I don't why? know why? And you know special. why? It's because the other ones are closer special. to us, so we go there. But I, and then but, the Vista Garden ones always that's have that huge but, line. To, to you point, you right, but also but that one that's the hit. problem yeah. is that every single one we should go to, bro, should be hitting, bro. Yeah, that ain't the case. That ain't, that's like, just not, man, how it's not, it's not how it works. The bro. Wings Twenty One in Largo don't hit like the Wings Twenty One in Woodmore. That's and a good, the that's ABW good, in Landover don't hit like the one in in, in Largo. Yet, Landover one's better. Chipotle, bro. But when yeah. I'm telling you, that's one of the places that had its rain that was that was different, bro. That was different. We we talk about you know we talk about McDonald's. We talk about all the different fast food chains at Chipotle at one. Chipotle point, had a generational run. A generational, generational run. But they were saying something was in the food, bro. It was generational. It was generational. Hey, bro, nah, you know, they, they might mean, get it back. They might get it back. If you give out if you give out the right portions, they might hit that. They might much hit again. Money when I was younger, I had it was spent also cheaper. It was also way and cheaper. And it was cheaper, bro. Was I was cheaper. getting a bowl for like eight ninety nine. Yeah, it was cheaper now. Now it's like now you got to spend like fifteen dollars. You, you, you get seventeen dollars. You get queso. You get bro. You get everything. You get one bowl. That's almost sixteen dollars, bro. Yeah. Oh no, nah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I guess. But it's like I guess, it's like I said. Like we're living in a time where you can actively hear from your consumers. Yep. You can actively yep. hear from your consumers, yep. and you can see in real time which companies just care about making money and which companies actually care about catering to their to their mm -hmm. their buyers. Chipotle has heard all the complaints, mm -hmm. and they have decided, "Hey, we'll give out more portions." The people, the people that made um, the Sponsor Sonic, us. the Sonic movie, they saw that the like that, the, 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 the internet never agrees on anything. But when they put that original design for Sonic out, the internet collectively agreed, "This is trash, and we will not be going to see this." And so, what did they do? They fixed. They fixed yeah, Sonic, facts, facts, and it was the facts. best decision they made. But that's how it's supposed to go. It's like you gotta hear. Like you see, Marvel's doing it. Okay, we we hear y'all want this, y'all want this, y'all want this, y'all want this person back, y'all want this villain. All right, cool, let's try. You want to please everybody, mm -hmm. but you know, for the majority, it's what y'all want. We'll give it to you. Right. All right. So yeah, like you gotta. We can, we're living in a time where you can actively see what the consumer wants, hear what they're saying, and if you acquiesce, the money will be spent. Yeah. But it's like you that's, know, that's real. It comes down to that. So Chipotle hurt us. And they're going to make the change. And look, and y'all can sponsor us if y'all... Hey, look here. I, I would love free free Chipotle for life. That's hey, man, fine. listen. We'll come in here and talk good about Chipotle every day? Nah, that's fine by me, bro. I don't care. Exactly. Me and my care. brother, we we're, were part of the same friend group. 
So we always ask this question. I I have a I have a good amount of friend groups, but I really have main two, three friend groups, like one here in the DMV and one when I was in college. But we talk about why is it why is it difficult for guys to just schedule a trip? Yeah. It's yo, it's always difficult. Oh, sure. And it's funny because like us as brothers, like we we get along like it ain't nothing. So it's not like anything about us socially being around each other. Yeah. It's just in regards to I don't know why what's up with guys and planning. I don't know what it is, bro. Yeah. Like, cause you always got that one friend that's ready to go. You got the one friend that be like, oh yeah, I'm I'm, I'm in, but I'm, it's contingent upon something. You got the one friend that I don't know. They may they may not respond or pop out until for for a few, and then you say something. It's like, what's up? Then we just don't end up going. Yeah, I mean, I've 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 definitely tried organizing a couple of friend groups, um, and it always happens like that. I think most recently, last year, I was trying to organize a friend group. I was trying to organize a trip with my college guys, and then I bought my place, so I knew like I wasn't gonna have no money for it. I'm not gonna be able to go anywhere with anybody until like I'm fully moved in and I get mm-hmm. my money back right. straight. So I just been, you know, kind of just keeping my mouth shut with that one. But I think once I finally get my money right, I think I'm willing to try again. Excuse me, but it is difficult because it's like you gotta agree on where to go, and then you gotta make sure everybody, you know, plan. I don't know. Like we just gotta do. I, I, like honestly, it's a mystery. It's honestly it really a mystery. Really is, but it can be done. It can be done. Because everything, I really like it. Everything falls in place. We should be able to go. You feel me? Like it's just simple as that. But it 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 is funny because it'd be like everything will be perfect timing and then we just don't end up going but now nah, we got we got it we got to do it i haven't seen some of my college friends in a minute Actually, yeah. and then just the other day seeing y'all like we yeah. haven't all been together in a good minute bro so you know you got really you got really embrace uh embrace your well, my your college dudes, family i think cause i think there's so many of us i think because some me and my uh, me and Nas was talking about like we gotta start small and then do something different. Yeah, I was like, man, sure. maybe we just need to do Atlantic City for the weekend. Like Atlantic City is not is yeah. not far from where everybody lives so at for the most part. It's drivable. It's not like we everybody everybody don't need plane tickets or whatever. Mm-hmm. We probably could do like a lot of us live in Mass. Some of us live in New York. Some of us mm-hmm. live in like I live in Maryland. So it's like mm-hmm. on some level everybody could drive to Atlantic City or whatever, and we can just figure it out. Maybe just do it for a weekend. Yeah, I don't nice. know, man. With us, I don't know. Maybe we need to go. I, I'm down for. I've never been on a cruise, so I'm down for a cruise. I know you're not gonna go because yeah. you don't like water, I don't but. Know, bro. We gotta figure I mean, something I would, out. I, I'm I, I'm really contemplating it. I'm contemplating it. I don't know, but we, we don't have to do that. I'm just saying. Figure like, something out. Yeah, though, for sure. I agree. Let's go to Thailand. I heard Thailand is cheap. I don't know what what's up with what's up with the Thailand. I heard Thailand and Bali the other day. Like what, it what, is the, your your plane ticket is expensive. With Thailand. Your plane ticket is expensive, but you can get like or you can get like a good villa for like twenty seven. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not like opposed against it, but it's just like. But I really think about it, I'm like, damn, that's on the other side of the world. It is. But, like, I don't know what's that. If, like, uh, that's for that. I heard you get a good villa for, like, $27 a night. I'm good, bro. I'm good. But we, we'll do something. I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to go one day. I got to get my, get my pass. I heard. Yeah, good. me too. I, I got to. Once once I'm, like, moved in, I think I'm going to find take some money aside and get my passport. I haven't been out the country since 2011. Yeah. So but, yeah, I heard Bali's lit, man. Let's do it. Yeah, we got to do something. got to do something. Much love, y'all. Another amazing episode. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Road to 400.